What is up guys welcome back to another play review today we're going to be looking at Inform Hartin Ben Arthur if you guys remember my FIFA 12 play review of him he was an absolute beast but how is he performing in FIFA 13 is his Inform much better than the non-Inform let us find out if you guys are looking for coin check out UT coin traders then it will be in the description below so Ben Arthur, Inform, finally gets it right at the end of fucking FIFA 13. I wish, I just really wish he got it a bit earlier. Maybe during the team of the season time, that would have been so amazing. But he gets it one or two weeks before FIFA 14 and that is a very big disappointment for me. Hopefully he gets one very early in FIFA 14. But anyway, let's move on to the review. To begin with, this guy's pace is absolutely electrifying. He is running down the wings. It shows that on his card that he does, he's not that fast, but he's actually blistering fast. He's just too damn fast. His pace is very underrated in his in-game stats. Awesome free kick taker as well. You will see me score an amazing free kick on the left-hand side of the pitch with his left foot. And I really hope that players that have 5-star weak foot... In FIFA 14, you're able to choose which foot you want to take the free kick with. That would be amazing. But anyway, very good finisher in the penalty area as well. I had no problems as well in the penalty area with him. Finish shot-wise, he was just killing the keeper. And oh my god, the dribbling. The dribbling and the scoop turn with the 5-star skills. It is just so overpowered. This guy's an 82 overall card, but when you're playing with him, he's like a 90 overall card in my opinion. Um, I was lucky enough uh, to be um, able to borrow him off Finch. You can find his channel link in the description. Um, basically, he costs around 300k, but he is worth every fucking coin in my opinion. He was just one of the best players I have tried in Ultimate Team. It was just so fun to use him. He was as fun as... Um, the special Gleesman card that I used a couple of uh, uh, last week. Yeah, I think it was last week. He had he just feels so overpowered for an 82 rated card. I had no problems with his work rate. Amazing long shots and shot power. His left foot felt really like Van Persie's. Just a bit weaker, but he 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 had amazing long shots and really high shot power and amazing strength and aggression i don't even understand where this came from because in his in-game stats it doesn't show that he's that strong but wow he just kills defenders and defenders struggle to get the ball off him he makes fifa aids he fucking generates them in the in the match and he's just an absolute beast to use and he actually has decent heading as well so this guy is like the full fucking package for a right winger if you want to use him as a right forward right winger he suits that position right midfielder i might think he might be wasted there but you can still let, uh, take his long shots or you know make him your sort of playmaker in right midfield but other than that uh, that is pretty much it. He has no negatives in my opinion. He is perfect for any position you want to use him in. I would suggest right winger or right forward to make the best um, out of him because cutting in with this guy is just paradise. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Like, don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you have a very nice day.